A hovercraft is a vehicle that travels on a cushion of air provided by a powerful downward airflow. They can travel over land and sea, making them very versatile vehicles. So today, we'll be taking a look at 15 of the most amazing hovercraft. Number 15, Hover Technics Hoverjet GT. All right, let's kick things off with the Hoverjet GT, a compact model that's a little under 11 feet long and weighs under 2,500 kilograms. It has an output of 60 horsepower and can achieve a speed of up to 40 miles per hour, meaning it moves at a pretty rapid pace. It can also handle surprisingly large waves considering its size, as it's capable of surfing over waves that are two feet high and clearing obstacles at a height of 20 centimeters. It's not particularly good with weight though, it can only carry up to 180 kilograms. The basic design also comes with any of the frills that can make this thing such a cracking vehicle to begin with. If you can afford it, you're going to want to splash out on the additional fuel tank along with the nav lights and the horn. You can also get extra grab handles. All in all, it is the most amazing hovercraft all told, but it's pretty good for the price and it's also the kind of hovercraft that anyone could buy and keep in their garage. It's definitely worth a look if you spend a lot of time by the sea or at a lake. Number 14. The Renegade The first thing to note here is that the Renegade is a fantastic name. The second thing is that there are multiple different models, including the Renegade IQ and the Renegade S. But I want to talk specifically about their most basic version, which is simply known as the Renegade. And yet, even though it's the most basic model, it still has a hell of a lot going for it. And it's another one that makes for a pretty awesome little personal hovercraft, if that's the sort of thing you're into. The Renegade's hull is made from Kevlar, which is the same material that's used for bulletproof vests, and its engine features fuel injection to allow it to hit speeds of almost 50 miles per hour, which is quite frankly insane for a water-based vehicle. Priced at about $25,000, the Renegade is one of the more affordable hovercrafts on the market, and you can take a friend with you and get up to three hours of hover time from a single fuel tank. It's used for everything from hobbyist hovering to tours, rental, racing, and exploration. Number 13. Pacific Slider XLS 100 The Pacific Slider XLS 100 has been on the market for quite a while, and yet despite that fact, there is not a huge amount of information out there for us to share with you. Still, we can cover the basics and take a look at its performance. The company promotes the XLS 100 as the most advanced light hovercraft in the world, and there's a lot of truth to that. It also has a bunch of fantastic safety features that are sure to give you the peace of mind you need to crank up the speed and push it to its limit. The XLS 100 is made from fiberglass and stretches about 14 feet, with a relatively light weight of 320 kilograms. It has onboard storage space and a 100 horsepower engine that delivers excellent performance, though it will suffer a little if you fill that storage space with too much weight. This is another craft that uses Kevlar reinforcement, with it wired into a fiberglass hull that uses nylon reinforced PVC. It also has a pretty sizable 100 liter fuel tank that allows it to cruise to over four hours on a full tank. Number 12, the Marlin XL. The Marlin XL is interesting because it can seat three people when most of the others that we've looked at can only seat two. It's about 12 feet long and gets a pretty good fuel consumption of as little as one and a half gallons per hour, which is good news if you're worried about the operating costs. The XL is a relatively new addition to the market and it's packed with exciting features as well as hitting a top speed of up to 45 miles an hour. It's also reasonably affordable, priced at just under 27 grand. It even has more interior and storage space than previous models. Marlin's hovercrafts are the most popular recreational hovercrafts on the planet, and at the time of writing, this model is the only small hovercraft that's crossed the English Channel. In fact, it made the journey there and back again, taking only an hour each way. There are also a bunch of cool design quirks that are worth a mention, like the fact that its hull was designed to reduce drag and lift while still keeping the weight down. It also uses a Vanguard engine that's designed to reduce both noise and emissions. There's a lot to like about this one. Number 11. British Hovercraft Company Coastal Pro The British Hovercraft Company was once called Flying Fish, which is an excellent name for a hovercraft manufacturer, and they come from the town of Sandwich in Kent. It was the Earl of Sandwich who created the lunchbox staple that bears his name. But we're here to talk about hovercrafts and not food, so let's take a closer look at the Coastal Pro. In contrast to most of the other crafts that we've looked at, this one can seat up to four people, making it the perfect hovercraft for a family outing. It also has twin engines and a stunning design that makes it look almost like a sports car. Measuring in at 14 feet long, it's built out of fiberglass and has a super quiet engine that's said to make it one of the quietest hovercrafts in Europe and possibly even the world. 
In fact, the Vanguard engine provides a decent 25 centimeters of lift, as well as a top speed of around 40 miles per hour. And if that's not quite good enough for what you need, you can also upgrade to the Rampage engine, which delivers 50 horsepower and has a range of about 100 miles, which is enough for two and a half hours of cruising at top speed. Number 10, the Cayman. The Cayman is interesting because it's been specifically designed to be easy to use and as reliable as possible for a hovercraft to be. It's also super versatile, which is one of the reasons why it's used by everyone from higher companies to the military. It is a lot bigger and heavier than most of the other hovercrafts that we're taking a look at today, but it's still lightweight enough to be transported on a trailer. It's also big enough to seat eight people, giving it as much as four times the capacity of the smaller crafts. The big downside to this one is that it's not actually clear how much it costs, and we're gonna go with that old standby of assuming that if the price isn't listed, it's probably prohibitively expensive. Still, if money isn't an object, you could do a lot worse than the Cayman. It's tough, versatile, and a pleasure to cruise in, and it does a great job in emergency situations or on difficult terrain like broken ice or tropical swamps. It can go where other vehicles can't. Number nine, the Griffin 380 TD. The Griffin 380 TD is a five-seater hovercraft that's known for having controls that are so easy to use that a child could do it. It's also nice and versatile, able to cover a lot of the same ground as the Cayman, and that's why it's popular with the military and the police. The 380 TD is also remarkable for having a low noise profile and for being made from a bunch of lightweight materials, with the result that it's a remarkably agile vehicle and can get the job done in a variety of tricky situations. It also has a reputation for being one of the easiest hovercraft to maintain. And so even if something goes wrong with it, it'll be pretty cheap and easy for you to fix it. It can also be transported by road on a trailer to get it some of the places that are a little more difficult to reach. Performance and size-wise, it has a length of 6.8 meters and carries a load of up to 380 kilograms. Although if you're running at full capacity, then that's gonna be pretty much taken up by all of the people you have on board. Number eight, LSAC 100. LSAC stands for Landing Craft Air Cushion, and it's a type of hovercraft that the U.S. Navy uses, notably in the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. It's typically used as a landing craft because of its ability to transport a large number of people over difficult terrain. Even when they're fully loaded, LSAC 100s can hit speeds of around 47 miles per hour and traverse 70% of the world's coastlines. Named the 100 because it's the 100th iteration of the vehicle, rather than because it's a nice round number. There's also a lot of history to this one. Interestingly, the LSAC 100 dropped from four engines to two engines, though that hasn't had too much of an impact on its speed and capabilities. In fact, it's improved the handling and also means that there's more space for passengers and cargo. The LSAC 100 and its follow-up, the LSAC 101, have a reputation for being the military's foremost hovercrafts. And I think I can safely say that there's a good reason for that. It's perfect for transferring sailors and equipment from ship to shore. Number seven, Zuber. The Zuber is designed by the Russians for military use and holds the world's record for being the world's largest hovercraft. And so it'd be crazy to create a list like this without mentioning it. This thing is such a beast that it has a full load displacement of 555 tons. In fact, this monster hovercraft was specifically designed to carry amphibious assault equipment, such as soldiers and tanks. And if that's not already cool enough, it can be used to haul naval mines and even plant them in the water. As you can imagine, this also means that it has to be a pretty big vehicle. The Zuber has a cargo area of 400 square meters and can carry 56 tons of fuel alone. When fully loaded, it can carry three battle tanks, 10 armored vehicles, eight amphibious tanks, or eight APCs. And who says all of that weight has to have a negative impact on its speed? The Zuber can hit speeds of over 45 miles per hour. And even though these things were first designed and built back when the Soviet Union was a thing, there are still plenty of these out there and in good enough condition to hit the water. Number six, HovPod SPX. The HovPod SPX is built from high density polyethylene, making it heavier and more substantial than most of the other hovercrafts we've taken a look at. Most manufacturers see any weight as a bad thing, and it's certainly true that it makes the SPX more unwieldy when you're moving it about on land. Once you get out on the water, though, it starts to make a lot more sense. The polyethylene is tougher than fiberglass, it's easier to repair, and it's also naturally buoyant. That's why it's able to carry over a ton of weight. The HovPod SPX uses a 65 horsepower engine and comes fitted with high-grade electrical connections, stainless steel fittings, and a bunch of other goodies. It's a quality piece of equipment and one that's definitely worth the money if you're lucky enough to be able to afford one. 
With that said, prices for the SPX aren't often made public, and the topic is further complicated by the fact that there are a bunch of different optional add-ons and extras. Still, if you're looking for something with occasional personal use, you're going to want to look elsewhere. This one is very much for people who are serious about their hovercrafts. Number 5. ABS M10 Hovercraft The ABS M10 has a reputation for quality, a fact that's led to it winning a number of accolades and awards. It's also another one that's designed to be used by law enforcement officers and the armed forces, although it's also popular amongst commercial organizations. It uses two diesel engines that give it a decent amount of power and performance, allowing it to benefit from both the power beneath the hood and relatively low operating and repair costs. It brings together the best of both worlds. The hovercraft also benefits from over 10 tons of disposable payload and can hit speeds of over 46 miles per hour. It has ducted fans that have been specifically optimized to reduce the amount of noise they make, which is great for tour companies, but which is equally beneficial to the government organizations that occasionally need to keep a low profile. All of this comes together to make a versatile hovercraft that can travel for more than 500 miles on a single tank of fuel. It was even awarded the prestigious Millennium Award by former British Prime Minister Tony Blair. Number 4. Neoteric Recreational Hovercraft Deluxe the Neoteric Recreational Hovercraft Deluxe is a mouthful, and it's technically a range of different but smaller hovercraft models that are known for their ability to be customized, with everything from new and improved features to additional seats or better control. The hovercraft is promoted as the only four-season recreational vehicle, with the manufacturers pointing out that you can use it instead of fishing boats, kayaks, jet skis, canoes, and snowmobiles. And at just 25 grand at its base price, there's a lot of value for money on offer. It's certainly cheaper than buying each of those individual vehicles. Another cool feature to this hovercraft is you can get your hands on a trailer that's specifically designed for it, although you can cart it about your existing trailer if you've got one. The difference is that the trailer the company offers is designed to be used on any terrain imaginable, a bit like the craft itself. The Neoteric hovercraft has one of the best braking systems we've ever seen on a hovercraft thanks to its inbuilt reverse thrust system, as well as working on a super effective brake for the craft itself. The patented technology also allows the craft to hover on the spot or even to spin left and right. It also unlocks a powerful reverse gear that can hit speeds of over 25 miles per hour. Number 3. Marlin 3 Marlin has a reputation for being one of the world's best hovercraft brands. And while we've already talked about the Marlin XL, it's the Marlin 3 which is really the jewel in their crown. You won't find many other hovercrafts like this one. You also don't need to be in the army to go for a ride on one of these. They're manufactured and sold for both private buyers and commercial businesses, and the three-seater hovercraft is perfect for recreational use or for touring waterways. The Marlin 3 includes built-in nav lights and beacons and has a dry weight of around 220 kilograms, as well as the ability to carry almost its own weight in passengers and cargo. It also has a pretty respectable 35 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine that features air cooling for the best possible performance. And so, with all of this in mind, you might not be surprised to learn that the Marlin 3 is the world's most popular recreational hovercraft. Part of that is no doubt because of its excellent fuel consumption and the inclusion of decent features like Kevlar reinforcement, and the fact the whole thing is designed to withstand exposure to salt water down to the last screw. Number 2. Neoteric Hovertrek 6 Neoteric is one of those brands that's been around for years, for nearly 50 of them in fact. They're a tried and tested manufacturer that's clearly learned a lot from all its earlier models and then thrown everything they have at the Hover Trek 6. One of the interesting things about this model is that it's available as either a four person craft or a six person craft with a huge cockpit along with side by side seating. If you're worried about being exposed to the elements, there's even a version that has an enclosed cabin. The Hover Trek 6 also has the same reverse thrust system that the company includes on their recreational hovercraft, with all of the performance and maneuverability advantages that come with that. If you're running the six-man version, you'll be able to transport a payload of up to 466 kilograms, and its dual fuel tanks mean it can cruise for over 125 miles on a single load. It's no surprise that it's sold in over 50 countries around the world. Number 1. Supercraft This one is a Supercraft by name and Supercraft by nature. It's an obvious pick for our number one spot. Better yet, even though it's specifically designed with a high level of performance in mind, that doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice fuel efficiency. It's said that the Supercraft actually uses a bunch of technology that's normally used in high-performance supercars. It's the kind of vehicle that's going to turn a few heads, especially when people see how it performs on the water. 
Produced by Mercier Jones, the Supercraft will set you back $75,000, and it's said to be able to reach speeds of as much as 80 miles per hour. That's not quite supercar speeds, but it's definitely a big improvement on most other hovercrafts. One of the selling points of this bad boy is that it's a hybrid electric craft, with the manufacturers saying it allows pilots to drive really fast over land, ice, sand, water, and everything in between. It's not bad considering you can decrease your impact on the environment while you're at it. Watch our machines playlist for more top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.